My name is Preeti McCoy, and I received my self-realization in 1985. I was born in Orange County, California, and I grew up, and at the age of 10, my family moved to San Diego, where I was raised. And my, my parents were uh, educated, kind, but they didn't follow a specified religion, and they left the notion of spirituality up to us. In my teenage years, I, uh, I did learn about Christianity briefly, um, but I thought it was a little bit fundamentalist. And I continued to seek with uh, some other teenage friends. And then after that, I tried Buddhism. But both of these avenues didn't give me any enlightenment. So I used to, as a young woman, go down to the beach and watch the sunset and, and think about the divine and really long for my connection and for more understanding. It just felt like life was two dimensional and there was more I, I could probably achieve. When I was 18, I went to college in the Bay Area. And at that time, UC Santa Cruz was a seeking kind of a school. It was in the Redwoods. Um, the professors were very interesting. I started to, to learn about history and got interested in Asian history. I took Chinese. So after this, I decided I would go teach English as a volunteer in China, and it took two years. And when I returned, I was pretty disillusioned about America. I felt American values had gone off the rails after living in China, where life is very simple and the people are very um, moral and think about the higher aspects of life. When I returned, I felt a little uh, curious to learn more about spirituality. And then so I uh, found Sahaja Yoga. The way I found Sahaja Yoga was through a woman I worked with. Her name was Liz Palumbo, and she lived in an ashram in downtown San Diego with 14 other Sahaja Yogis. And she invited me to a meeting, and we had a, a beautiful meeting, and I had a beautiful experience, and I missed the collectivity that I had learned in China. So I, uh, after a couple of months, I stuck with Sahaja Yoga, came every week to the meeting, and they invited me to uh, live in the ashram. Some moved into Lakewood Street and others moved into other houses. The next thing that happened, I had just missed uh, one of Sri Mataji's American tours, so I didn't meet Mother uh, for a few months. But then when she returned again, she gave a, a public program in San Diego at Balboa Park. And of course, I went to the program, went through all of the, the things that new seekers go through. But after the program, the yogis invited me back to meet her. And I was very lucky because I, I wasn't feeling vibrations in my hands at that time. And someone had told mother. And so basically, she was there to correct that problem. Well, we talked about uh, my job and career because I asked her. I know that is isn't an Im immature question to ask, but at the time I, I didn't know what to do with my life. Of course, I had been teaching in China and I had also been teaching Muslims for adult education. So in my mind, the question was, what kind of students will be open to the deepest learning? After thinking about what I'm doing now, she said, you will like teaching Indians. And it's interesting that after all these years, it is only this year that I'm I'm come into contact and I'm teaching a class with, with Indian Sahaja Yogis and it's interesting and wonderful and I love it. Mm -hmm.